hi this is Richard Quack here welcome to another session of my video in today's session I would like to talk about internet marketing and the topic is what is copywriting all right now if you are doing internet marketing I believe that copywriting is very very essential for any types of success okay now what is copywriting copywriting is actually anything that is intended to persuade the right reader, viewer, or listener to take a specific action. Now, I want you to note here is that it talks about the right reader, viewer, and listener. That means you are not targeting everybody in general. You got to target the people that you're interested to approach. That means the right people, okay? You cannot have copywriting in general terms. It has to be for a targeted group of people that you want to approach. And you want them to take specific action that's for sure okay now what is the purpose of copywriting okay it is to entice people to click on links okay this is one of the purpose to click on links okay the other thing is to fill out forms all right you want them to fill out forms and lastly you want them to spend money to buy your products or services okay so that is the uh, purpose of copywriting is about persuading people to take certain action that is important okay now what what is copywriting about okay now here are some example you can do a tweet right? a tweet that also involves copywriting okay when you write article articles also involve copywriting all right and when you do video content videos all right is also uh, copywriting and also when you do a Facebook live what I'm doing like what I'm doing now is also about copywriting as well and of course uh, you know when you create a sales page or a video sales page you know to influence people to take action then this is all about copywriting okay so copywriting is very very important if you are trying to market something on the internet okay now what is the essential thing that you need to approach when you are talking about copywriting okay there are three things okay number one you got to address their fear everybody got their fear right so you got to go direct and address their fear because people all right uh, try to avoid fear okay so you got to address their fear number two you speak to their desire again everybody got desire things that they want to achieve all right so you got to approach the desire as well so firstly you need to uh, address their fear secondly you need to speak to their desire and lastly this is very important it should be like a conversation with a trusted friend all right or a trusted advisor that means when you write your copy it's like you are advising your friend or you are an advisor trusted person who is going to give advice okay so copywriting has to be in that way not talking down to people but actually like an advisor okay that is what copywriting should be about okay now let's have a look at some of the what you call uh, some of the things that you can do to help you with your copywriting okay now before that remember these people like to buy right people like to buy but they don't like to be sold that's a fact all right nobody likes to be sold that is why people like to buy but they like to buy knowing that it is the decision all right their own decision they don't like to be sold that's for sure so you must understand this point all right before you do anything else okay here are some tips that i'm going to help you uh you know generally uh to 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 write a sales copy that is very very effective okay these are some of the things again this is only my opinion and of course you know there may be other things that i am not talking here but these are the tips that i can give you here number one okay the headline is very very important remember people's attention span is very very short especially on the internet all right so if you cannot catch the attention they will click and go off somewhere else all right so the whole idea here is to catch the attention so that they stay on your page all right on your website all right so the most important thing when you visit a website what do you see first you see the top part of the website don't you think so so the top part of the website must have a heading that can catch the attention so that they will scroll down and read further okay so headline is very very important okay uh you know you have to have a headline that is uh, very catchy that makes them stop 
I want to read more, okay? Now, I give a simple example. If you use a headline like this, all right? Welcome to my website. Who cares? All right, that's why a headline is not going to be successful at all. The headline must catch the attention so that they will stop and they will read your website, okay? So, important headline here, all right? Now, headline, uh, you know, again, you got to talk about your fear. The benefit is important, all right? Your fear, the benefit, and so on. So, I can give you a... a, a a headline that you can format this way, all right? People want to solve their problem, okay? As soon as possible, all right? So, you, what you can do is, here is how to blank benefits. What is the benefit, all right? And then, after that, a time frame. How long? And then, you can add there, okay? What are the pain they can avoid? Okay, now let me give an example. If uh, somebody is interested in losing weight, okay, very simple. Here is how to lose 10 pounds, okay? That is the benefit, how to lose 10 pounds within 30 days. There's a time frame there, within 30 days, then pain, all right? Within 30 days, without having to exercise. People hate exercise, right? So basically, that's our headline will catch people's attention. Here is how to lose 10 pounds within the next 30 days, all right, without having to exercise, all right, or without having to starve yourself. So those are our things that will catch people's attention. Are you with me? So here, I just giving one example, all right. If you want to know more, I think there are many materials on how to write headlines and so on. You can go and check on YouTube as well, okay? But it must be something that uh, can benefit them, all right? Because people are looking for benefit, not feature, all right? Benefit to lose weight, all right? That's the most important thing, okay? Now, headline number one. Number two, benefits versus feature. Now, people are looking for benefits, all right? They're not interested in feature. You don't have to tell them your product have got this and this and this and that. They're not interested. How can they solve the problem? All right, they got a problem they want to solve. So you got to tell them about benefit, like just now, you know, how to lose 10 pounds. That's the benefit, okay? So, you know, it's important to stress on benefit, okay? And also, the other thing is stories is very important. In your, in your uh, copywriting, stories is important. Use stories as well, because remember, facts tell. But stories is the one that sell, okay? So tell stories. People can relate to stories and people can become emotional when you use stories, okay? Now, the other thing is that besides benefit versus feature, uh, you've got to use bullet points, all right? Bullet points is very important. Bullet point make it short and interesting and catchy as well. So that catchy to the eye because people don't like to read very, very long text. Features, uh, what do you call? Benefits, okay? Point, 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 bullet points, okay? That is very important. Use a lot of bullet points, okay? The other thing is the power of, of unfinished thoughts is very, very important. This is called, in, in uh, what do you call? In technical terms, it's called the Ziganic effect. That means people, you know, do not like to have a blank. They want to know the whole story, are you with me? So when you tell them something and then you stop, they don't have a complete picture, they want to know more. All right, so this is very important. The power of unfinished thought is very, very important. So when you start your sales copy, you know, you can tell them about something, you know, oh, please read on because at the end of this uh, uh, sales letter, I I'm going to give you something for free. Well, they'll be searching, you know, there'll be unfinished thought there, something for free. What is for free? They want to know. So they will go down and down and down and look at what is free. Are you mean? So that sort of thing, unfinished thought, all right? Remember, human beings are like that. If you see a, a, a TV series as well, they make it very interesting. At the end of this uh, uh, episode, you know, they make it so interesting that you, you have, want to see the next one. Is that true? So they're using the power of unfinished thought. That is very important in sales copy as well. Okay? Now, the other thing is that trust testimonials is very important. People want to know how other people benefit from using your product or service. So testimonials is important, all right? Now, testimonials you can get from uh, forums or from people that you know, you know? Uh, how do you get it? Very simple. Uh, you can offer them a free copy of your product in exchange for a 
testimonial, okay? And a lot of people are willing to give you uh, uh, testimonials for a free copy of your product. So testimonials is one thing. The other thing is that social proof is that if you see on certain website, especially at the bottom left or right hand corner, you know, they come out with something, uh, you know, that tells people, oh, somebody from where has just registered or bought your product. Okay, that is social proof. There are software that uh, you can uh, get to do that for you. Okay, so every time when people come to your website, the thing will pop up at the bottom or wherever you want to position it, telling people that, oh, somebody from where, from which state has just purchased your product. How many minutes ago? So, social proof, because when people look at that, you know, wow, there are people buying the product, it must be very popular. So, this is what is important, okay? So, testimonials is important and also testimony is actually social proof, right? Right, the other thing is that you need to give money back guarantee, yeah? Take away the risk from them because in order for them to buy from you, there's a lot of risk, especially over the internet. They don't know who you are, how the product is all about, you know. So whether the product is good or bad, they do not know. So you're going to give a money back guarantee. A hundred percent money get back guarantee, okay? That's important. Maybe a money back guarantee for a period of, uh, you know, three months, okay? Some people give one year. Money back guarantee, that, that takes away the risk from people to make a decision. Because people find that it's difficult to make a decision, all right? So you got to give them a money back guarantee. That means use the product at no risk whatsoever, all right? And if you're not happy, please, you know, let us know and you will, will refund you the money, okay? But remember this, all right? Be honest about it. When people ask for a refund, give them the refund, okay? Don't just ignore that and so on because... Credibility is very important, especially on the internet, all right? Uh, you know, if people don't trust you, you're dead, okay? So that's so important. Testimonials, okay? And money back guarantee. And the other thing is that you got to make purchasing your product, buying your product a no-brainer whatsoever. A no-brainer, that means they don't have to think twice. They will buy your product. The only way to do that is to give them bonuses, Okay? Bonuses. If you see a lot of websites outside there, they offer good bonuses. Okay. Now maybe your product is forty-seven dollar, but they offer bonuses value at much more than the forty-seven dollars. Some of them are a few hundred dollars or thousands of dollars. So it's a no-brainer. Some of them they purchase your product because they want the bonuses. Okay. So offer them bonuses. Okay. Now where can you get these bonuses? It can be your own products or you can buy PLR types of uh, uh, product, private label type of product. You know, and then you can use them as your bonuses, okay? So bonus is important to induce people to take action. Just like guarantee, you know? You want people to take action, take away the risk from them here, you make it a no-brainer, okay? Now, the other thing is urgency is important. People, you know, have to be urged to take action. People fear loss. Is that clear? People fear loss. So you got to make it urgent for them to order. So maybe, you know, on the... Uh, uh, Sales copy, you tell them, okay, uh, the price is $47 for the next 30 minutes. Okay, after that, it's going up to $97. So, there's urgency for them to order. Okay, or in terms of numbers, okay, once uh, we sell uh, uh, 500 units, the price is going up. Urgency, all right, it's important. Again, you got to be honest when you say uh, that it's going to go up in price, you cannot ignore it right when the time come uh, 30 uh, 50 units or whatever they so then the price will have to go up all right so important urgency is important because people fear loss all right they fear loss so what happened is that you know it will induce them to take action okay so urgency is important and the other thing is that uh, uh, using video today you know video is a big thing right so you got to have video on your website as well all right, it's important. Even the testimonials that people give you can be in video format, all right, or text format. But video will be very, very helpful because people like to watch video, all right? And when you have a video, that especially with you talking, right, people uh, can relate more to you. They can trust you because they're seeing a real person talking in front of them rather than just reading the text. So video is important, all right, in your... In your website, have a video explaining about the products and so on, or testimonials from people use videos, okay? That's very important. Now, the last thing that I want to mention to you is that at the end of your sales copy, right, at the bottom there, you can put a PS. PS, okay, postscript. You put a PS there, something that is urgent, all right, so that to induce them to take action, all right? Now, the PS can be something like talk about urgency, all right? Well, remember that, you know, remember, you have a limit, 
limited time to order at this special price. That's it. All right, or something else. The PS can be PS, PS1, PS2, PS3, you know, a few PS there. It just uh, summarize the thing to, 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 to induce them to take action immediately. Okay? So, that's all I want to share with you about copywriting. I hope that you learned something here. I think it's very, very useful. Uh, of course, there are many books and material outside there you can learn, but these are the basic things that I'm giving you, which if you understand this, you use this principle, you can have a good sales copy. Are you with me? So, copywriting is a very, very uh, a lucrative type of uh, uh, industry because, you know, uh, a good copywriter, for them to write for you, they will charge you even 20,000, 30,000 US dollars because it makes the difference between uh, being able to sell on your website and not being able to sell or selling a lot of products from your website. Sell copy makes a lot of difference, my friend. So, of course, to hire copywriters is, is going to be expensive. So, you've got to learn how to write copies yourself. All right, and these are some of the points I can offer you. All right, so let me summarize for you uh, what are the tips here. Uh, number one, use headline. Very important, all right? And the headline must be in bold and probably a good color will be red color, all right? Red color. You can use, uh, let's say, Impact font or Verdana font or Tahoma font. You know, just a font is very clear and, and big text, all right? Um, and of course, be you can have a sub-headline as well be, be, uh, on below your headline there. Number two, talk about benefits, all right? Not the feature. People are interested in what's it, it for me, okay? Uh, number three, bullets. Use a lot of bullet points, all right? Because people don't like to read, read too many texts, okay? Um, number four is the power of unfinished thought. is important. Number five, testimonials and social proof. Number six, money back guarantee, okay? Then the next one is bonuses, have bonuses. Uh, create urgency for them to take action now using video and lastly using PS postscript. Okay, so that's all my sharing today. I hope that you learned something here and you find it useful. If you like what you hear and see, please feel, feel free to like, to share and to comment. And also please do follow me because uh, at least, you know, when you follow me, you know what I'm uh, coming out with, okay? Uh, I'm doing uh, this uh, video uh, six times a week, okay? So, this is uh, all my sharing for tonight. I will see you tomorrow again where I'm going to talk about network marketing, okay? So, thank you for your time once again that you are spending here with me. So, this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.